The Valley gives uh, what it often feels like unrelenting summers and a new study believes that the urban heat island adds several degrees to our temperatures. 12 News journalist Colleen Sakura is diving into the numbers and what can be done if anything to help. Just as an example here at our downtown studio amidst buildings, asphalt and concrete, researchers estimate an additional nine degrees of heat coming from the built environment. A paved and built Phoenix. As the surfaces retain the heat, we can really feel it. Not a paradise, but an urban heat island. There's a lot of heat being generated and stored in a city, and that's what this is reflecting. Jen Brady, senior data analyst with Climate Central. Phoenix has kind of a distributed heat. Says their analysis found on average urban heat island adds about seven degrees to Phoenix's heat. Phoenix has a really interesting pattern. Um, compared to a lot of other cities because of the way it has been developed. But it has the same impact as it would if it's all in an intense urban core. The additional heat dependent on where you are. You have lots of trees and lots of vegetation. Those neighborhoods usually stay cooler. But then if you have neighborhoods such as South Phoenix, where you have lots of impervious surfaces and soil and dirt, those neighborhoods get really, really hot. Ariana Medell is a professor at ASU who's studied urban heat island. What we found is that temperatures at night have been increasing over time. Uh, over the past 10, 20 years, that can easily be like 7 or 10 degrees Fahrenheit at night, and that's the urban heat island. So what does help then? Well, researchers say it's actually shade can make a big difference. When you're standing in the shade here in Phoenix, this can easily reduce the heat load on your body by 30 degrees Fahrenheit. But if we bring in more vegetation, that cools the urban environment, and then if we produce shade, that cools people during the day. A focus on getting lows lower. There's solutions at every level. It's something that maybe I can say, I'm gonna go outside my house and put up an awning for me and my neighbors, or your city can say, we're gonna paint the roads. To help cool the impact of the highs. Colleen Sakura, 12 News.